Hi everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a book review of sorts, something a little different. Uh, last week I did a video in my garden listening to bird sounds. And apologies, it's a little windy out here today, so not many bird sounds today. But, last week's video of bird sounds uh, piqued a lot of interest. People asked me what kind of birds are in my garden. And I don't know them off the top of my head. I'm not a bird watcher or a, what do you call them, a twitcher? A tw is it, are they called twitchers? And so I'm not a bird watcher per se, but I, I love having birds and I love having animals in my garden. So for those that were wondering the types of birds in my garden, and I said book review of sorts today, and that's because I do have on my bookshelves this Australian field guide to birds. It's the uh, Slater Field Guide to Australian Birds, second edition. Now, whether you're an, an avid bird watcher or not, if you are going places and reading in, in, in the wilderness or in a park or out in your backyard, I think this is an essential thing to have in your library or in your book collection. No matter who you are, if you go anywhere where you're going to be experiencing bird song, and enjoying the outdoors. I think having uh, a field guide to birds is an essential library item. And I've had this one on my shelves for years, so this isn't a new purchase. My wife especially, who is a, a wildlife carer for injured native animals, uh, keeps this so she can identify different native bird species. Um, and when you asked me what types of birds are in my garden, I've looked a few up and I'll show you today just to demonstrate how this book works. If you've never seen a field guide to Australian birds before or a field guide to birds, uh, they kind of look like this and I hope you can see that. Everyone's familiar with cockatoos, I guess. I, I, I hope everyone's familiar with cockatoos. They are around here but n not really visible too often. But uh, we do have lots of these pink and grey cockatoo types and they're called galahs. Uh, and they're galahs because they are incredibly stupid. They're the types that walk in front of cars or they, they fly in, in, in flocks and they just go streaming across road, roadways and they're just not very bright birds. Uh, and they have this screeching, uh, like a cockatoo only, a little different, uh, they have this screeching call. And the great thing about field guides is you've got pictures on the right, and on the left you've got the black areas denote where these birds are found in Australia. So uh, the common galah is found absolutely everywhere. And then if you read it, it says about size and colouring between males and females and juveniles and adults. And it also has a verbal description or a written description of what their call is like. And for the galah, I said it was kind of like a screech voice, a pleasant, uh, zzk, zzk, loud screech. I've, I don't know about the zzk, zzk, but definitely the loud screech. Um, so, and it even tells you what their eggs look like, which is really nice. That, they're not in my garden all the time, but we do see them a lot here where I live. So, in my garden the other day, we saw these, and I'm going to bring the book up closer and uh, refocus the camera so that you can see the pictures. But just as, as a selection, we saw um, rainbow lorikeets, and you can I'll show you the spelling of that so you can look it up and see pictures online if you want. So in my garden the other day, when you saw, we saw rainbow lorikeets and another version of a lorikeet or a parakeet. So they are kind of like a, a form of parrot. Um, uh, and I've got a whole page of those to show you. And they love eating the flowers of native, native plants. And on top of that, we also have a couple of different types of lorikeets. So we have a rainbow lorikeet, which is this rich red and blue. And then we have this uh, l smaller little lorikeet, which has a red face and a mottled green body. And there, there, were, there were lots of those. And then we have parrots like king parrots, which again are large red-breasted and red head with green and blue backs. And they're quite impressive as well. And what else did I mark in here? And the ones that were making the most noise in that tree last week are not so not pretty 
but they are a native bird. They are called a noisy miner, and the, the miner bird are a pest. So there's a, there's two types of miners in Australia. There's an Indian miner, which is a migratory bird that comes to Australia, and they're an introduced species, and they're an absolute pest. They eat everything. And then you have the native miner, which cultivates just native plants, and they have a wonderful time, and they have a nicer um, bird song to them as well. So we have native miners, um, what we call noisy miners. So let's have a look at some pictures. And on top of that, I think a couple of weeks ago, uh, we had lots of kookaburra call in my backyard. If you remember, I was doing a book review, and I paused for about 30 seconds to let the to let the kookaburras go off. None, at, none out there today, although we might hear them soon. It is getting late in the afternoon, which is when they like to start calling each other. And their laugh, that, that kookaburra laugh sound, is, is very, is like a typically Australian sound, I guess. So let's have a look. I'll refocus the camera and I'll get this book up closer and you can have a look. Um, but I really do urge you, if you, if you have any sort of wildlife around you anywhere, if you read in a park or if you read uh, out in your garden or if you're in someone else's garden or if you read out while you're out hiking then I suggest a small field bird field guide is an excellent thing to have at your disposal. They do come in big pictorial issues that can sit on your shelf but really I suggest the smaller one that will fit in a backpack or fit in the glove compartment of your car so that you can easily take it out and, and use it whenever you need it because you're going to encounter birds and their beautiful songs everywhere you go. So mine is the Slater Field Guide to Australian Birds, second edition. If you're in Australia there is no better. Uh, if um, everywhere else in the world will have their version of this. And if you live in a really diverse part of your country you might find that there's a field guide just for your area of a country or your part of the country. I go, I travel around a bit with my family so we, uh, we bought the Australian one, which will cover every bird that is known to be found in Australia. So let's have a look at some of these pictures. Give me a minute while I get set up. Okay, so here is the beautiful cockatoo. And you know this, you, you've seen cockatoos around everywhere. They're, they're quite common and you would have seen them around. You wouldn't have seen galahs. They are these pink and gray and they're, they're absolutely beautiful. They're just, they're just incredibly stupid. And they are everywhere in Australia. You see the map here, all black. They are absolutely everywhere. And we also have many other kinds of cockatoos. So not just these normal sulfur crested cockatoos that you would be familiar with. But we also have these wonderful black cockatoos with sulfur crests and red crests. Uh, we have quite a few different ones. And in my little area, this red crested cockatoo. Co Pardon me, this red crested cockatoo, uh, red tailed cockatoo, is, is he lives just around the corner, this fellow here, very, very rare, uh, and I've seen him quite close to my house. But here's the guys that, was, that were in, here are, the guy, here are the guys that were in my tree the other day. So in the tree the other day was, were these guys, a rainbow lorikeet, and he is absolutely beautiful quite a large parrot type bird and uh, there's the northern form and the eastern form so I'm on the east coast of Australia so this is the fellow that was in my tree here and his smaller cousin of these little swift parrots and scaly breasted parrots and they're they're all of all available in my little area and then here are some smaller uh, lorikeets as well here are some things called little lorikeets and purple crowned lorikeets and you'll see the map all up and down this east coast of Australia here and, and I'm just on the fringe of that inland on the fringe so they're still available near me and a few weeks ago and these there is the laughing kookaburra which is him and even when they draw him they draw him almost looking like he's smiling his beak looks like he's smiling he's a laughing kookaburra there's the juvenile and the adult and we also have in this area some of these blue winged uh, kookaburras. They still laugh and they have even a, a more maniacal laugh than the normal kookaburras. Uh, and a crazy, crazy laugh. And, but they have this blue tips through their, through their backs. They're quite beautiful. So there's your kookaburras. And finally, 
the ones that were making all the noise last week were these got these fellows here the uh, noisy miner right here so black masked face with yellow eyes gray and white with yellow through the through the wings and they're called a noisy miner and they make all sorts of noise and but they're not pests they're the native australian version of the introduced species that aren't in this book they're, the the um, in fact the introduced species of those noisy miners called indian miners aren't actually as beautiful they're just a dull gray with yellow eyes so they're not even pretty and they make all sorts of screechy noises and they eat everything they're an absolute pest and the noises you can hear at the moment are the galahs that i mentioned so the pink and gray the ones that are really really stupid so that's they're the ones that you can hear up in the trees right now are the galahs so again field guide to australian birds whichever one you can find in your country or in your neck of the woods just grab it whatever field guide is best do a bit of research but there is one for every country and you will start seeing and hearing some amazing bird sounds wherever you are that's it for birds i'm not sure i can drag out this uh, bird videos for too much longer so back to normal book review time and you'll hear bird sound in the background as you normally do every time i'm in the garden uh, enjoy your day wherever you may be and i'll talk to you again soon thanks bye